This question is related to viscosity in moving fluid. So here we have a rectangular block with a mass of 2 kg sliding down an inclined plane and the plane is at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal. The block is separated from the plane by a lubrication oil which has dynamic viscosity of 0.5 newton second per meter squared and the spacing between the block and the rim is 1 mm. The base of the block has area of 20 cm by 50 cm. And we are asked to determine the terminal velocity, which is when the acceleration is zero of the block as it slides down the plane. So here, the first things that we need to do is consider the free body diagram of the block. So if we draw the block, So there will be a gravitational force due to weight, which is acting from the center of gravity of the block and directly downward. And that is equal to W, which is equal to mg. And this force can be resolved into two perpendicular components. One is the parallel to the ram, and the other one is perpendicular to the ram. And since, since this angle is 30 degree, so this one is also equal to theta, which is equal to 30 degree. And the other force, which is also acting on the block, because the block is in contact with the lubrication fluid, so there will be a shear force due to the lubrication oil, and this is equal to F shear. And of course, there's another force which is acting in the perpendicular directions, which is the normal force. So here we can actually resolve the forces. So the normal force, the normal force will be equal to this, and the shear stress here will be equal to this component of the weight. So this one here is equal to W sine theta, and this one here is equal to W cos theta. So now we can resolve the forces. If we resolve the forces in the directions which is perpendicular to the ram, so we can write that the shear force is equal to W sine theta. But the shear force is actually equal to the shear stress multiplied by the base area of the block. And this is actually equal to since the weight is equal to mg sine theta. But by Newton's law of viscosity, we know that tau is actually equal to mu dv by dy. If we consider the, the lubrication oil, so this is the block and this is the ram. So, the fluid which is in contact with the ram will have zero velocity, but the fluid which is in contact with the block will have the velocity v, which is what we want to calculate. And the thickness, let me just call this t. So, we can see from here that since this is actually a linear profile, tau is actually equal to mu v divided by t. So now we can substitute this into the equations. So we have now tau, so mu v over t multiplied by area must be equal to mg sine 30. So from here, we can see that we can calculate the V. So V is just equal to mg sine 30 multiplied by T divided by A mu. So if we substitute the values, then we have this equal to 2, 9.81 
sine theta is equal to 0 0.5 and the thickness of the lubrication oil is 1 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by the area. Area is 0 0.2 multiply 0 0.5 multiply by mu. Mu is given to be equal to 0 0.25 So this will give us the value of 0 0.3924 meter per second.